Good morning, everybody. Mrs. Nearhoof here. And today I'd like to talk to you about using old cereal boxes or snack boxes to make mosaics. Now, a mosaic is an artistic picture or design made out of any materials assembled together. Mosaics are used as decoration. Traditional mosaics are made of small, flat, roughly square pieces of stone or glass of different colors known as tesserae. We are gonna be using materials that we have at home. So I'd like you to find a good, fun cereal box or snack box. You may need to have um, an adult in the house help you cut this flat part off. So you need your cereal box cover and you're also going to need a background paper that is slightly larger than the cereal box because when we cut this up, uh, we wanna leave little spaces between the image. You're going to need some scissors and a little bit of glue and it'll be time to start creating. So let's get started. I am going to start cutting up my cereal box and I'm just gonna cut it into random little shapes. Just make some little cuts. Your cuts can all be the same size or some can be small, some could be medium, some can be extra big if you wanna emphasize maybe a certain portion of your box, but I'm just gonna start by cutting this into a bunch of pieces. And this is really good scissor practice for some of our younger students. And if you're older and you wanna get more precise and more um, intricate, you can work on making your patterns more interesting. Um, but this lesson really has something for everyone. Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna decide my arrangement and I'm gonna sort of just work as I go. I decided to leave uh, the bird together. I'm gonna to emphasize him, he's gonna be my emphasis uh, because he's bigger and he's fully assembled. So I'm just gonna put a few dots on the back and find a spot on my paper for him to sort of hang out. I think I'll have him over here. And then from there, in no particular order, I'm just gonna start gluing these guys around and I'm gonna fit them together closely but not on top of each other. Remember to leave little spaces between your pieces to make it look like a true mosaic. This does not have to be done in any particular order. Y'all just have fun with it, putting your mosaic together. Okay, I'm finished with my project, closing up my glue, and here we have it. My cereal box mosaic. How do you like that? Look in your pantry uh, at home, your snack area, and see what colorful fun boxes you have that you can recreate into a snack box mosaic. And please share it with me. I'd love to see it. Y'all have a wonderful day. See ya. Love ya. Bye.